Hey there, this is a follow along lesson from my course on Adobe Muse, where you can learn web design by creating a responsive website in Adobe Muse. Support files included. Check out the link in the description for more information. Thanks. In web design, just like in any area of graphic design, color is very important. We can change the background color of the entire page or pages. We can also adjust the color of specific areas of the website including the navigation, text, and other areas such as borders on photos. We want those colors to match the branding of the client, and we also want to get colors that harmonize and look good with each other. For design and branding consistency across the pages and for aesthetics, we need to formulate a color scheme. There are many types of color schemes, but two primary ways to harmonize color is to create a complementary color scheme or an analogous color scheme. Complementary colors are opposite on the color wheels, and analogous colors are next to each other on the color wheels. We'll go over a few ways to come up with color schemes, but one really effective way is to use Adobe Color. Just navigate to color.adobe.com. This is an analogous color scheme, which means the colors are next to each other on the color wheel here. We can click and drag the base color here around the color wheel to adjust it. We can also click and drag specific colors to adjust it slightly, or by clicking and dragging the levels down here. We can adjust the red, green, and blue levels here, as well as how dark and how light the color is. This lists the RGB, or red, green, blue levels here, and this is our hexadecimal color code. Up at the top where it says color rule, let's change that to complementary. These colors are opposite on the color wheel and we can adjust them as well. There are also a few other options such as monochromatic, triad, compound, shades, and custom which we can really customize. Now what if we already have a color we like and we want to base a color theme on it? Well back in Muse with the master page open, I've selected the top shape up here. Then if we click on the fill option, we can highlight, click and drag over this, and copy the code, and then paste back in Adobe Color for the base color. Delete that, paste it, and then enter or return. And this is set as base color. If you click the other ones, it will set the other ones as the base. If we go to analogous, I'll show you what I mean. If I move these around, the base color stays the same. But if I set this as the base color, and move it around. The other ones will move with it. So I've pasted our hexadecimal color code here, set it back to complementary, making sure this is set as the base color. Analogous is pretty good for this color scheme, but let's use complementary for this, as that looks pretty good too. If we adjust the RGB levels, it's going to change our base color. So we don't want to do that. I just want to make this one a little bit brighter. So instead of moving the RGB levels, I'm actually going to just set this back to our original. and then just adjust the brightness here. Just I want to make this a little bit brighter. Now we have a color scheme we want to add to the website. We could copy and paste the hexadecimal color codes of the five colors here into a document to bring them over to an Adobe program. We could add them to swatches and various Adobe programs, but it's easier and more convenient to use CC libraries. Just like we added some graphics to a library earlier, we can add colors too. So make sure you're signed into Creative Cloud. If not, just sign in up here. Now once we have the color scheme how we like it, let's go to Save. Let's call it Primary Website Colors. And save it in our Balloons and Beyond website library. We can add tags, for example, Blue Orange, Complementary, Sky Bright, and so on. And if we publish this theme to explore, it allows other graphic designers and web designers to find it. Click Save. Now in Muse, we can go to Window, CC Libraries, and see it. If you're not signed in, be sure to sign into the Creative Cloud through the Adobe Apps program. We can also search for color schemes on Adobe Color. Click on Explore up at the top, and we can type in keywords like Bright, cheerful, blue, orange, and so on. If we wanted to add some of these to a library, we would just click Save 
and then add them to a library. So this makes it really convenient and helpful to manage colors and harmonize colors in Adobe programs, including Muse. In the next lesson, we'll apply these colors in our website. Hey there, this is a follow along lesson from my course on Adobe Muse, where you can learn web design by creating a responsive website in Adobe Muse, support files included. Check out the link in the description for more information. Thanks.